Good morning, folks. Today will be a day to get on the same page if you are not already. We will be looking ahead and putting Florida on storm alert, but we will begin, as always, at spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star was silent. Dark coronal hole will hit us with a solar wind stream tonight or tomorrow, but the activity on the departing limb was truly about the only eruptive potential to be seen. Solar flaring is very low and not likely to change today with a blank star. We officially have a spotless day, folks, first since 2014 and second since 2011. The minimum is upon us. The solar wind remains calm as well as Earth awaits impact from that coronal hole stream. Telemetry will easily show the impact along with any magnetic storms it produces. That dark coronal hole departing to the right now has set its solar wind stream our way, again expected to hit tonight or tomorrow. By the way, one of the oddest coronal cavities and upper coronal plasma layers can be seen over to the left, bubble of magnetized material blobbing up above an emptier area. Top quake of the day was interesting in location only. Not every day we get one here. Instead, let's go to the buoys in the Indian Ocean. After an email from one of you, we checked out the southern active buoy here and found what is obviously not major waves coming again and again and again in just that location, but hopefully data error. One can't help but wonder, however, about the seafloor breathing potential there since it's where the magnetic poles are set to meet, the tectonics are destabilizing, and the airplanes keep going down in that area. Not to mention that one of the number one stories we've ever covered online in the last five years was right there, the disappearance of the South Bali buoy under similar yet more extreme movement conditions. If you have not seen that, time to get on the same page. Just Google disturbance under the ocean and take a peek at what happened at the buoy that was taken offline the day after the internet started to viralize its strange data. For more on the magnetic poles of Earth meeting in that spot in the Indian Ocean, pop over to earthchanges.com. Org. This is the combo page for the space weather and magnetic reversal topics which are heavily entwined in reality. It is a solid set of resources and you can also snag the PDF copy of our book for just $5 at the link on that page. Not just covering the earth and sun and magnetic fields connecting them but also things like waking up, chemtrails, conspiracy, and a bit about navigating those topics without losing your freaking mind. Anyway, this is a major airport in Taiwan. The thunderstorm that hit that region was utterly epic. Unlike the days of storms battering the US over and over, that was just one. Have to say it though, what's happening in the United States is a bit worse, not that things are much better in Northern Europe or in the alert zones down under we identified yesterday. We're going to come back to those top viewer locations, but the top weather story in the world is this. Last night and now this morning. That's a little bit of a change. It's going to strengthen and develop and organize. Last night and again this morning. The models begin to agree. When the coronal hole stream hits Earth, it's going to show us if it's connected to space or not. Remember, folks, that video was called Disturbance Under the Ocean. Check out earthchanges.org for more information, including the video, The Number One Risk to Earth. And, of course, it's Saturday, so our weekly podcast for website members at suspiciousobservers.org will post to the fly on the wall section in just a few hours. We're going to run down global pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It is 3.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.